such as stations of the cross, our opening hymn is Hosea. <laughs> to death. Wait here and watch with me. He went forward a little, and falling prostrate, he prayed, saying, Father, if it is possible, let this cup pass away from me, yet not as I will, but as you will. Jesus is condemned to death. 
We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Again the high priest began to ask him, and said to him, Are you the Christ, the Son of the Blessed One? And Jesus said to him, I am. And you shall see the Son of Man sitting at the right hand of the power, and coming with the clouds of heaven. But the high priest tore his garments and said, What further need have we of witnesses? You have heard the blasphemy. What do you think? And they all condemned him as liable to death. The king's kingdom of earth cries out, and the princes conspire together against the Lord and against his anointed. I will proclaim the decree of the Lord. The Lord said to me, You are my son. This day I have begotten you. Ask of me, and I will give you the nations for an inheritance, and the ends of the earth with your possession. Let us pray. All powerful and eternal God, for proclaiming the truth, your Son, Jesus Christ, is condemned to death by crucifixion. Stir up your love in our hearts, so that we might be ever faithful to all that you have told us, and fear nothing more than the loss of your friendship through sin. Amen. Amen. The second station, Jesus carries his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. And Pilate said to the Jews, Behold your king. But they cried out, Away with him, away with him, crucify him. Pilate said to them, Shall I crucify your king? The chief priests answered, We have no king but Caesar. Then he handed him over to them to be crucified. And so they took Jesus and led him away, bearing the cross for himself. Who would believe that when he had cried, To whom has the arm of the Lord been revealed? He grew up like a sapling before him. Like a sheep from the marsh earth, there was no in him no stately bearing to be made to look at him, no appearance that would attract us to him. He was rejected and avoided by men, a man of suffering, accustomed to infirmity, one of those from whom men turned away, and we beheld him in doing so steep. Let us pray. Father in heaven, your Son, Jesus Christ, still carries his cross in his persecuted brothers and sisters throughout the world. Make us feel the needs of all persons so that we might as readily help them as we would help Jesus himself. Amen. Jesus falls the first time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. If the world hates you, know that it has hated me before you. If you were of the world, the world would love what is its own. Because you are not of the world, but I, but I have chosen you out of the world. Therefore the world hates you. Remember the word that I have spoken to you. No servant is greater than his master. 
If they have persecuted me, they will persecute you also. Why, Why are your blood, blood red, red and, and your garments like those of my ancestor? ancestor? The wine press I have trod below, and have my people that was there with me. I, I trod, trod them in my anger and trampled them down, down at my wrath. Their blood served on my gums, and I stained all my clothes. I looked about, but there was no one to help. I was appalled that there was no one to lend support. So my own arm brought about the victory. Let us pray. O God, to free us from sin and weakness, your Son, Jesus Christ, embraced his fearful passion and crucifixion. Strengthen us in our baptismal re resolutions by which we renounced sin and Satan, so that through the passion of this life's sufferings we might rise to a new life of joyful service, free of all selfishness. Amen. Amen. <laughs>
Help us to see in the sufferings and shortcomings of our lives a share in your cross. Strengthen and console us in the belief that we bear all things in union with you, who have taken upon yourself even our guilt. Amen. 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 you have redeemed the world. It was our weaknesses that he carried, our sufferings that he endured, while we thought of him as stricken, as one struck by God and afflicted. But he was pierced for our offences, crushed for our sins. Upon him was a punishment that makes us whole. By his stripes we were healed. We had all gone astray like sheep, each following his own way, but the Lord laid upon him the guilt of us all. Though oh, he was harshly treated, he submitted to open not to his mouth, like the lamb led to the slaughter, or a sheep before the shearers. He was, he was silent and uttered no cry. When he was cut off from the land of the living, and smitten for the sins of his people, a grave was assigned him among the wicked, and a burial place with the deliverers. Though he had done no wrong, nor spoken any falsehood. Well, let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you shared in our weaknesses and accepted our guilt. Grant us the favour of rejoicing over our human weaknesses, so that in all we do, your strength dwelling in us may be shown to all others. Amen. 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 The eighth station, Jesus. 
Jesus meets the women of Jerusalem. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross, we redeem the world. There was following Jesus a great crowd of people, and among them were some women who were bewailing and lamenting him. Jesus, turning to them, said, Daughters of Jerusalem, do not weep for me, but weep for yourselves and for your children. Come, all of you who pass by the way, look and see whether there is a suffering like my son. Suffering with which the Lord has afflicted me on the day of his relations of God. At this I leave my eyes and tears. Far from me are all who would put some of me. Far away are any who would be my divine. Let us pray. Beloved Jesus, with tears of pity, these women of Jerusalem responded to you, broken, bruised, and beaten on the road to Calvary. Deepen our faith, we beg you, so that we may see you in our brothers and sisters, bruised by our enemy, beaten down by injustice, and broken by our greed and our indifference. Amen. Amen. You have redeemed the world. I lie prostrate in the dust. Give me life according to your word. I declared my ways, and you answered me. Teach me your commands. Make me understand the way of your precepts, and I will meditate on your wondrous deeds. My soul weeps for sorrow. Strengthen me with your words. The Lord, Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord, the Lord is my life's refuge. Of whom shall I be afraid? When evil doers come at me to devour my flesh, my foes and my enemies themselves stumble and fall. Though a mighty champion against me, my heart will not fear. Though war be waged upon me, even then will I trust him. Let us pray. Almighty and eternal God, you permitted your Son to be weakened, crushed, and profaned, so that he might rise from the dead, free from the ravages of sin. Help us to accept our weaknesses and failings as forerunners of our glorious resurrection in union with your Son. Amen. Amen. The tenth station, Jesus is stripped of his clothes. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. They gave Jesus wine to drink mixed with gall. But when he had tasted it, he would not drink. Then after they had crucified him, they divided his clothes, casting lots, to fulfill what was spoken of through the prophet. They divided my clothes among them, and upon my garments they cast lot. Happy is the man who God chastises. Do not reject the punishment of the Almighty. For he moves with by his eyes up. He smites, but his hands can heal him. The insult has broken in my heart, and I am weak. I look for no confidence, and I found none. Rather than they put all in my and 
do my best to gain me an energy to drink. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, stripped of everything, you stood exposed to the jeers and contempt of the people whom you loved. Clothe us with genuine love of others, so that nothing we suffer may ever fill our hearts with hatred or bitterness. Amen. 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 station, Jesus is nailed to the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. When they came to Golgotha, the place called the Skull, they crucified Jesus and the robbers, one on his right and the other on his left. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Far, far from my prayer, far, far from the words of my God. O oh my God, I cry out by day and cross the night. I cry out by night, and there is no relief for me. All my bones are racked. My heart has become like rats, melting away within my chest. My throat is dried up like baked clay. My tongue cleaves to my jaws. They pierce my hands and my feet. I can count to all I hopes. Let us pray. Lord and Saviour, you have told us that we too must accept crucifixion if we are to accept resurrection with you. Help us to rejoice in the sufferings that come with the fulfilment of our daily duties, seeing in them the royal road of the cross to the resurrection. The twelfth station, Jesus dies on the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your only cross you have redeemed the world. It was now about the sixth hour, and there was darkness over the whole land until the ninth hour. And the sun was darkened, and the curtain of the temple was torn in the middle. Jesus cried out with a loud voice and said, It is finished. Father, into your hands. I commend my spirit. Then bowing his spirit, bowing his head, he died. My people, what have I done to you? Or in what have I offended you? Answer me. What more should I have done and did not do? I led you out of the land of Egypt. And you prepared the cross for me. I opened the Red Sea before you, and you opened my side with a lance. I gave you a royal scepter, and you have given me a crown of thorns. With great power I lifted you up, and you have hung me upon a cross. My people, what have I done to you? Or in what have I offended you? Answer me. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. The 
13th station, the body of Jesus is taken down from the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because As your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. When the soldiers came to Jesus, they saw that he was already dead, so they did not break his legs. But one of them opened his side with a lance, and immediately there came out blood and water. Joseph of Arimathea, because he was a disciple of Jesus, although a secret one for fear of the Jews, besought Pilate that he might take away the body of Jesus, and Pilate gave permission. O oh, my people, I will oh, open Lord, your graves, and have you rise from them, and I will bring you back to your land. Then you shall know that I am the Lord. O oh, my people, I will put my spirit in you, that you may live. You shall know then that I am the Lord. I have promised it, and I will do it, says the Lord. Let us pray. Beloved Saviour, you returned to the Father all that he had given you, so that he might restore all to you a hundredfold in the glorious resurrection. Help us, we beg you, to give generously of ourselves in all that we do for you, so that we, like you, might be made perfect in the new resurrection. Amen. Amen. The 14th station, Jesus is laid in the tomb. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross, you the world. Joseph of Arimathea took the body of Jesus, and wrapping it in a clean linen cloth, he laid it in his new tomb, which he had hewn out of rock. Then he rolled the huge stone across the entrance of the tomb and departed. I will praise you, O Lord, for you, you drew me clear and did not let my enemies rejoice over me. O Lord, my God, I cried out to you and you healed me. O Lord, you brought me up from the low world. You preserved me from among those who down to the Sing praise to the Lord, you his faithful ones, and give thanks to his holy name, for his anger lasts at a moment, his good is for a lifetime. At nightfall you begin to sing, but with dawn comes rejoicing. Let us pray. Almighty and eternal God, on the edge of sadness when all seemed lost, you restored to us the Saviour we thought defeated and conquered. Help us, we beg you, so to empty ourselves of self-concern, that we might see your hand in every failure, and in your victory in every defeat. These things we ask in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns we forever with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. You have redeemed the world. When the Sabbath was passed, Mary Magdalene, Mary the mother of James, and Salome brought spices that they might go and anoint Jesus. Very early on the first day of the week, when the sun had just risen, they came to the tomb. They were saying to one another, 
who will roll the stone back from the entrance to the tomb for us? For it was very large. But looking up, they saw that the stone had been rolled back. And upon entering the tomb, they were amazed to see a young man sitting at the right side and clothed in a white robe. He said to them, Do not be terrified. You are looking for Jesus of Nazareth, who was crucified. He has risen. He is not here. Behold the place where they laid him. I believe, I believe in God, God the Father Almighty, Almighty Creator of heaven and earth, earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified and died and was buried. He descended into heaven. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, our Father Almighty. From there you will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Our closing hymn is Now We Remain. Thank you for tuning in to the Stations of the Cross, Our Lady of Mount Carmel. We appreciate the comments. We plan on doing live streaming of the Mass this Sunday, tentatively for noon. But please stay tuned to our Facebook page for further details. But we will be doing that also. Please check out our website, olmc.us for information about other things we will be doing online as well as assistance and volunteer opportunities for people in this time of crisis on behalf of the lady mount carmel we ask everybody to be well and be safe and we'll be in touch soon <laughs>